Mr. Darrell David, you have three cards. Please take them together. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, apart from diet control, regular physical activity and exercise are important components of a healthy lifestyle that helps to keep us physically strong and mentally sharp. From a national perspective, a healthier population would mean everyone spends less of our individual net income on healthcare and related treatments. This is an effective way to ensure that our critical healthcare resources are not tied up to treat preventable diseases. To encourage Singaporeans, especially our children and youth, to be physically active and take up sport for leisure, MCCY and Sports SG have rolled out several academies and clubs to conduct regular classes for different sports in various sports halls and areas. I believe that these academies and clubs are doing well and they have been well received by the public so far. Can MCCY provide an update on the enrollment and participation in these academies and clubs? Are there further plans to enhance these sporting programs, to extend them to other sports and activities? And what else does MCCY plan to do to get Singaporeans to be more active? Next cut, please. Team Mila was launched in 2015 to create a common identity for sports volunteers. Since its exception, Team Mila has contributed to various sporting events and its volunteers have distinguished themselves for being professional and having a strong work ethic. And I'm speaking from personal experience, having interacted with many of our Team Mila volunteers. With a strong volunteer management program and a robust volunteer training framework, I believe that Team Mila has the potential to contribute beyond their current role and be a positive force for change within the community. I'd like to ask MCCY if there are plans to further engage Team Mila so that its volunteers can be deployed beyond sporting events. What are the new skill sets that we would like these volunteers to build on and how can we develop Team Mila so that it can also be a platform for community volunteer programs? Final cut, Mr. Chairman. National athletes, even those who have won medals, often fork out funds from their own pocket to finance training and travel costs. The launch of the One, Ting One Team Singapore Fund last October is thus a much needed shot in the arm for our athletes who want to hone their skills and take their sporting prowess further afield to represent Singapore in prestigious games and competitions. I understand that under the One Team Singapore initiative, Elite athletes could get up to $100 million in funding with the government to match donations of up to $50 million from Singaporeans and corporate firms from 2017 to 2022. Could the government provide an update as to how athletes have benefited from this fund so far? Corporate support for sports is a large part of the culture of many countries where sporting achievements are a hallmark of success. Can support for sporting talent extend to even supporting athletes after they have retired from competitive competition so that they can mentor and grow the next generation of sports leaders? To use a sporting metaphor, this will allow us to help them pass the baton to build a lasting sporting culture of indelible memories and boost strong interest in sport. And while the One Team Singapore initiative helps those involved in core sports, there is a possibility for more flexibility in standards so that athletes from non-core sports that have achieved a certain standard are also supported through funding that helps them grow their talent and boost our Singapore sporting capabilities and our sporting heritage as well. Thank you, sir.